Mr. Mahama, what would you do differently to get the economy back on track? <clears throat> well, uh, bef before I begin to talk about that, I was just going to chip in, you know, what I think Nana and Co. will do if... No, if, no, I'd like you to tell me what you will do. That's if because they want. Because that's right. an important matter. If yes. they want. <clears throat> if, uh, if I, I know shortly after that happens, they'll come out and say, uh, gentlemen, unfortunately, we didn't know the true state of the economy is worse than we so think that's it. that's what you're telling us, John. No. You say we don't no, know. No, no, that's what they're so going to say. we don't know the true and facts. And so You've all the promises so. we made you... Uh, unfortunately, we can't deliver immediately. Just keep your belts tightened in the medium to sh long term. We shall deliver on those but, promises. But That's what, what they're going to do. Yeah, but tell me what but, you yeah. Um, a lot of programs are in place already and are beginning to yield results. We put in the Gateway Program. We've, uh, we have the Free Zones Program. It's attracting investment into the Free Zones. Uh, we are, recently, we cut the sword to set up a new cocoa processing plant that will process 60,000 60, tons of cocoa and increase the amount of cocoa that we're processing from about 20% to close to 35%. These are all programs that are in place. We intend to uh, tackle ag agriculture in uh, a new way that is uh, speeding up uh, irrigation uh, projects all over the country. First of all, I mean, I mean it's, it's refreshing to hear that, to hear the the, the communicators of the regime now telling us that they're aware that the path that they have been on the, the before wasn't satisfactory and that it is now necessary well, to move. That. Well, said, that's uh, exactly what I said. We've had those programs well, in place what, that's already. That's what I understand. Okay. That's 20 <coughs> years, which is the, virtually the period that the PNDC NDC has been in place, it's virtually 20 years. That period was in other countries' lives enough to transform them from the economies that we have now. If you talk of Malaysia. Taiwan. These are examples of the countries. You've I'm talking about countries that began very much at our level of development, who within a 20-year period moved in the case of Korea from 400 per capita mm -hmm. income, Compute. which was Ghana, 60% mm -hmm. people in agriculture like they were there, to economies where per capita incomes is now measured in terms of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Dramatic transformation of their lives, the lives of the Malaysians who, who today were seeking to emulate. How have they done it? They did it with one fundamental premise. You cannot develop an e your economy unless you give the producers, whether of agricultural products, whether of industrial products or services, confidence in their ability to work, take their reward, pay their taxes, and get on with their lives. All right, and uh, you, you can watch uh, uh, the full version of that interview this Saturday on Hot Issues.